think you could do it. Yeah, listen, what's everybody just sitting around for? Come on, drinks for everybody. We've been supported here. Drinks! Chiquita! Oh, oh, I have a lot more beer. No, don't, don't bring me any more beer. Ah, now you quit. I ain't gonna quit. Um, a bottle of wine. Uh, a, a vin extraordinaire. Du fait pour monsieur Corbis, s'il vous plaît. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank we you. We could even on the best to know him, Mr. Loving. <laughs> Oh, you should see me one night in Toledo. Oh, hey, 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 I like to see you do it. Are you kidding? Oh, hey, you that's a good oh, hey, 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 You wouldn't want to go double on the wine, would you, Kirby? Oh, are you kidding? I ain't going to press my luck. Oh, uh, you get Take this. Give us a chance. Yeah, take some for yourself, buddy. Uh, this is exactly the way I remember this whole stinking war, to tell you the truth. Everybody! You guys, uh... Take care of yourself. Don't leave, Kirby. Hey, wait a minute, where are you going? Kirby. <laughs> Kirby's the name. William G. Kirby. Kirby! Keep moving. Gentlemen, other side of the road with Kirby. Right. Let's go. We ought to get behind him, I guess.
gentlemen! Yeah, they got him. King six, this is King two, over. Duh. Duh. King six, this is King two, over. Hey, let me have a couple of aspirins, will you? How many of those things are you gonna take, Kirby? Oh, don't have so many time like this, Doc. Just give me the aspirins, huh? Ought to be a regulation, I guess. Send the guy out on patrol after 24 hour pass. I understand you had quite a time. Oh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Ain't got a cigarette, have you? <laughs> You're broke, too, you know? Oh, yes, my friend. But it was worth it. <sighs> kind of warms my old heart just to think about it. down. The cars aren't going to change. That does it. You're too hot for me. Oh, the pigeons are running. Looks like I want another one. There's a seat open. Doc, come on. I, I, I forget it. It's so hot. I got to get that key. Come on. Can't do it. <clears throat> Come on, Farley. You're going four in a row. Do you mind if I look at them? Cage, can't you let me have ten? Uh... I'm broke. You don't want to look. You've lost. All right, I'm in. Little John? Nothing to it, Look, he's taking a bunch of pigeons to the cleaners over there. I can close that game up in five minutes. Just give me something to work with. Now, come on. Kirby, if I had it, I wouldn't give it to you. Pass. All right, just wait. Next time you want to borrow my son and get I call you five. Now, raise your ten. Hey, G1. Riding home, are you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's smoke one of mine. Hey, thanks, Billy. Got them boys, I'm ashamed of them. Hey, kid, uh, you holding anything? Huh? I'm holding any. You got any money for the game? Yeah, I got some. <sighs> Let me have 20 and I'll double it for you in an hour. How about it? Uh, I don't know. Not that, Kirby. Everybody gonna sit in? Oh, come on, gee. I gotta get in that game. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll split everything I make right down the middle with you. But if, if I lose, which ain't probable, I'll still owe you 20 bucks, and I'm good for it. All right. Okay. okay. Hey, you're a pal. That's I guess $20 ain't gonna make a lot of difference, no. huh? Well, uh, listen, uh... When you like to make it 30, because I don't want them to think I'm running cold or anything, I'll have a little something back me up, you know, put some lid in my teeth. Come on. All right. See, you will not regret it. Mark my words, my mm. friend. You mm -hmm. may be rich because of this. Yeah. Okay. Same game. Ah, Buck Annie, huh? Well, well, well. 
You're blind. Come on, Farley, deal them out. You're not playing with kids now. Put the tea leaves on the table. Hey, wait a minute. Come on. Cut. Cut your throat. Fuck our stand. He said, don't it? Kirby, what do you say we raise the ante to five bucks? Oh, suits me. Just win it or lose it a little quicker, that's all. Three tens, Kirby. Three little old ladies. No good for it. Come on, come on. Deal, will you, Kirby? Just consulting with my banker, that's all. Come. What time is it? Huh? What time is it? Seconds. Second best again, Farley. I thought Farley was hot. and your luck runs out. What's that? My marker. Don't worry, it's good. Out. You're gonna wear out that pencil of yours, ain't you? Things seem to be dominating the marketplace. All right, break it up, fellas. The dentist says we're leaving in a couple of minutes. Sorry, gents. It never hurts to stop before we get bitter about it. Let's go count up this mess. Come on. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> come on, come on, partner. What's it come to? Well, unless I <clears throat> counted wrong, Kirby, sixteen hundred dollars. Sixteen hundred. You kidding? Let me hold it. I never had that kind of money in my hands in my life. Oh yeah. How much of it's in those markers? Eight hundred bucks. Hey, uh, Farley. What about your markers here? Looks like I'm running a laundry or something. So? Well, so when are you going to make them good? Now, if I had any dough, I wouldn't be giving you markers, would I? Well, what are you trying to get at, Farley? Look, there's close to $800 in this wallpaper. Now, when are you going to make it good? Look, Kirby. A money order for a thousand bucks. As soon as I get to the finance officer, cash it, you'll get your dough. Okay. I guess a guy wouldn't carry that much money on him up here anyway, would he? I guess not. <laughs> hey, where are we going, Lieutenant? Village, a couple of miles from here. S2 thinks the Krauts may be using it for an artillery OP. I can guess what our job is. Saddle up. Kirby. Huh? You suppose I can have one of my cigarettes? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, John. Keep the whole pack. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, Cage, how far is it to Paris? You're a long way from Paris, Kirby. I want to be able to get someplace. You know, Jim, if we get the two of us together, we could buy a whole town or something. Huh? I mean, I'm sending mine home. Home, huh? Yeah. I got married just before I came over here, and I've been sending a little home here and there to my wife. I've been putting it on a gas station. You know, so I'd have a little something going for me when I got out. $800 on it, a good start, huh? Up ahead, check it out. Whitey, check the rear. The rest of you, take five. Hey, you know something? I've been thinking. I, I never had $800 of my own my whole life. <laughs> Neither have I. It's the kind of money you could really do something with, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I don't mean blow it. I mean, it's a, it's a real stake. It's a, it's a bankroll. Well, look at Gilman there. He says he's going to invest his in a gas station. It's one guy, after this lousy war's over, he can go back to something. Yeah, but Kirby, uh, I just can't see you pumping gas. No, but I, I got this uncle that uh, has a bowling alley and... I don't know, it's kind of a dump right now, but you take a few hundred dollars worth of paint and get one of them signs, you know, one of them, uh, them neon-colored things. See, I could go partners with him and send the money back and be a good business there. By the time I get back, I'd have something to go home to. You know, something that means something. You know, I think you really mean it. I do mean it. It's all clear, Lieutenant. Move out. 
Manage your muscle, we can move out. Farley? You hit? I caught my thumb reloading. Hey, Kirby, Kirby. I was just thinking, though, if anything did happen to me, those uh, markers you got, they wouldn't be worth the paper they're written on, would they?
stage. Lewis, take a look up ahead. Well, I sure been thinking about that money. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you know, I got a letter from my wife about a week ago. We're gonna have a baby. Hey, that's good news, G. Yeah. Between that, trying to save enough money for that gas station, and that money couldn't have come in at a better time. Uh, I guess not. Something the matter? Uh, no. Nothing's the matter. Gentlemen. The radio. Sure is a nice kid, huh? I sure hope he gets his gas station. Oh, she never can tell. War is a funny thing. Here today, gone tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's, it's all a question of odds. Me, I, uh, I never plan ahead. Like that, uh, money, for instance. Today, I owe you 800 bucks, right? Mm hmm. Tomorrow? Who knows? No, no, no. Tomorrow you'll still owe us 800 bucks. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. You're a betting man, Kirby. Look at the odds. Suppose you get killed. I mean, Gentleman gets all the money. And if he gets killed, you get the dough. What happens if I get killed? I mean, you know, nobody gets anything. You just kiss one bowling alley and one gas station goodbye. Don't you think that's kind of funny? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Farley, you, you really got some sense of humor. I'll hand you that. <laughs> of course, S2 could be wrong about those crowds being in that village. You really hate to pay off, don't you? Oh, no, no, no. I just hope I get the chance. Don't worry, you'll get the chance. I'll see to it. That's what I like to hear, Curly. Roger. Out. Doc, can he walk? Any news on whether the village is occupied or not, Lieutenant? Nothing. side of town. We'll get to the church from this side. Little John, take the radio.
We almost got enough for a poker game. Pipe down, Farley. Take you off the side of the street over there and we'll cover you from here.
love me, gentlemen. Why was you firing? My gun jammed. You really hustled over here when you thought old Farley got hit, didn't you? <laughs> Is it working now? Yeah. All right, let's hear you use it. <laughs> Gentleman's hit. Come on. Let me get him back to dock. Hey, Doc! White Rook, this is King Two over. White Rook, this is King Two over. Objective not secured. Repeat, objective not secured. Enemy position stronger than indicated. You better send a call up here with a bazooka. Send a stretcher team up. I've got a badly wounded man. Over. Out. Little John, take the flank. He's pretty bad. Oh, it's real unfortunate, Lieutenant. You see, my gun jammed, and old Kirby came over to help me. That left gentleman all by himself. By the time Kirby got back to him, uh, the gentleman had been hit. Anything? I guess they're waiting for our next move, Lieutenant. That's too bad about Jeterman. Like I said, you know, you just you just can't figure the odds. I can't, Ed Farley. If your gun hadn't jammed, he wouldn't be in this mess. Oh, come on, Kirby. You can con them, but don't con me. Now, we both know why you came over to me. It was the markers. A bowling alley. Now, you know it, and I know it. Farley. Get over on the flank with little John. A stretcher team on the way up? Yeah. He should be here in a few minutes. Good. Hey, did you hear that, kid? You're gonna make out okay. You might even get a trip home out of this. <sighs> hey, listen. Next time I tell you I can clean out a poker game, maybe you'll believe me, huh? Clicked our dough from Farley, or you'll be home in business for yourself even before that kid of yours comes. Did I hear you say you played poker with Farley? Joe Farley? Yeah. He give you any markers? 
Well, yeah, he owes Jittleman and me a whole bundle. Oh, boy, I hate to tell you this, Kirby, but you can kiss your bundle goodbye. I've heard about Farley from the last two squads he was in. That dead beats Welch on every debt since D-Day. Call you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Let's go. Cage, toss in a grenade. I can't reach the church from here, Lieutenant. I know. As soon as it hits, we'll move in closer. Okay. Yeah. Where's Farley? I thought I was with you. I think he ducked into that building. No. I'll go get him. Hey, Kirby. I uh, thought I heard something out there. I was just checking it out. Let me see your wallet. What for? Let me see it, you welcher. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Look, you're never meant to pay off. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, God. Let me see it. Oh, Kirby, come on. Oh! <laughs> Close to 400 bucks here. All right. You're not the only one that wants to 
come out of this war with something, Kirby. So my integrity is limited. But so is yours. You ain't no saint. It's every man for himself. That's why you came back to help me. To protect those markers. So you see, Kirby. You're just like me. No, you got things a little mixed up, Farley. It was my job to help you. That's why I went back. Not your markers. I'd have gone back to help you no matter who you were. Maybe that's the difference between us. Stretchy Bear's got the kid back? Yeah. What do you think, Doc? I don't know. Oh, uh, sir, I'm looking for Private Jeetle. Yes, in this room next to the fireplace. Is he gonna make it okay? Yes. He'll have a long recuperation period, uh, maybe two months. After that, we send him back to the States. Thanks, sir. Do from Farley's markers. I got it. That's more than I had coming. Oh, no, no. You, you counted those markers wrong. Your shit came out a lot more than you thought. <laughs> well, you can use it, can't you? I can sure use mine. Yeah. Thanks, Kirby. Yeah. You gonna get your bullet, Ellie? Well, you better believe it. Listen, if you're ever up around Chicago, you just look me up. I'm gonna be there. Okay. Well, better get yourself some rest, Chief. Good luck to you. Thanks, partner. Hey, Kirby. You gave him all the money, didn't you? Look, you tell anybody about it and I'll bust you in the mouth. Come on, I'll buy you a beer. Uh -huh. 